I get this question all the time. It's a fairly simple answer, but still, I, I get the question. So we're going to address it right here and a few other factors as well. If I'm contributing into my 401k as a Roth, a Roth 401k, how does my employer match go in? Is my employer match Roth or is it pre-tax? I got that answer and expanded context coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. So I think, I, you know, I, I understand the question. I think, I think there's a fairly simple answer, but I get the question a lot. We get the question a lot from our clients here. And so I thought I'd at least share the question, provide the answer, but then a little bit more context for those of you that say, well, yeah, duh, I, I know that one. And so that is, you're contributing to your 401k, but all of your contributions are going under the Roth side of the 401k. So all your contributions, maybe even from the beginning, from the time you started your 401k, they're all Roth 401k, all right? What about your company match? Is your company match, is your employer match, does that go into the Roth side if all your contributions are Roth? Or does that go in pre-tax and your contributions stay Roth? Well, again, I, I think if you, if you look at it from this way, it's a pretty simple answer. The Roth 401k, the benefit of the Roth 401k is your contributions that you put in there, they're not tax deductible. So you pay tax on that earnings. You earn income and you defer some of it into your Roth 401k, but you still pay tax on that income. It's not a deduction on your tax return. And then those dollars are invested inside of your Roth 401k. They grow tax deferred. And then in the future, if you're 59 and a half and eligible, you pull the dollars out, all that money, and it comes out tax-free. The growth comes out tax-free because you never deducted your contribution in the first place. The, the uh, money that you put into the Roth 401k, that original contribution is not taxable when you take that out. So a lot of times it stuns people that, well, if that's the way I'm contributing, what about the employer match? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever paid tax on that employer match? No, you haven't. Therefore, that employer match cannot go into the Roth side of your 401k. It's got to go in pre-tax. That's right. No one's ever paid tax on that matching contribution. You might think, you might get so detailed and say, well, wait a second, maybe the employer match is Roth as well and the employer doesn't get to deduct that on their profit and loss on their tax return. No, that's not how that works. The company match, the employer match, they're gonna deduct that. The business is gonna deduct that from their tax return. Therefore, that money's never been taxed. And now it's into your 401k and it's essentially pre-tax, meaning someone's got to pay the tax on that money in the future. So that's how that works. Your contributions, even if from the very beginning, if those were Roth 401k, the match is still pre-tax. So how does that work? I mean, you basically have one 401k that you can log into or whatever you can see your balance. But within that one account, you've got Roth dollars and you've got pre-tax dollars. And if you've only been contributing since the time that you started, your 401k to the Roth 401k, then that balance is going to be a larger portion than that employer match, which is gonna be pre-tax, that'll be a smaller portion. So if you're curious, if you've got both sides, both kinds within your, within your 401k, just log into your 401k or look at your statement. They should be able to tell you this is your Roth balance, this is your pre-tax balance. And that will be very important as you work with your CFP from a tax planning standpoint on how you should manage that moving forward. Um, so I, you have one 401k, but if you've been contributing Roth and you've been getting a company match, you've got one 401k, but it's got some Roth dollars, some pre-tax. I, I wish the IRA was this simple as well. I, I wish you could have one IRA, part of it being Roth, part of it being pre-tax, and you could just analyze uh, you know, the, your balances within each side. But within the IRA world, those have to be separate. It's gotta be a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. All right, so with that out of the way, what if your intention is to have all of your 401k be Roth 401k? You're getting company match. How do you get that into your Roth 401k? Well, that's easy as well. You just convert it. Just convert it. You, again, with that explanation, might be too detailed for you, but you know I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. I'm known for that. So 
when you contribute into your Roth 401k, it's not a deduction, but when your company contributes that money, that money's never been taxed. So those matching dollars then, in order to get them into the Roth side of your 401k, you've got to pay tax on them. And they call that a Roth conversion. If your 401k allows for a Roth, I, a Roth 401k, you sh it should allow for you to convert dollars. Should, you should be able to do that whenever you want. I don't know if you can do it online or if you got to fill out a form. Uh, work with your CFP on that, contact HR or look online. Um, but you should be able to convert those dollars, those match dollars from pre-tax into the Roth. Be aware, you will have to pay tax on those dollars. Doing a Roth conversion, that's not a tax-free event. The point is, well, let me pay tax on these dollars so they can be in my Roth side of my 401k and grow tax-free forever. So as you convert those match dollars into the Roth 401k, you'll have to pay tax on them. And that might mean you don't have enough withholdings, okay? So that might create a tax surprise for you. Do some planning, some proactive tax planning with your CPA, with your certified financial planner, because you might say, well, I'll just withhold taxes on that. Well, if you withhold taxes on a Roth conversion and you're not yet age 59 and a half, that money that you, you know, withheld is taxable. It's also penalized. Those withholdings actually came out of your 401k. That's a tax penalty, okay? So there are ways around it. Maybe you've got some tax credits already built up. You're used to getting a refund. Therefore, you can convert your company match, your employer match from the pre-tax side into the Roth side, and it just eats into your refund a little bit. Great, wonderful. But do some tax planning with your CFP and with your CPA before you take any action there. And then finally, what if you don't want to convert those dollars along the way? Because you, maybe you're in your earnings year and you don't want to add additional income at this tax bracket uh, at that stage in your life. Well, then whenever you leave that employer or when you retire, within that one 401k, like I said, you're going to have lots of Roth dollars, Roth 401k dollars, and then you're going to have some pre-tax dollars. When you sever employment, when you leave employment, when you retire and you roll over your 401k, the Roth contributions that you made and the investment earnings on those Roth contributions, you, they've, your, your 401k, your third party administrator has been tracking all of that, all right? Your contributions to the Roth 401k and the earnings on those contributions will all get rolled over, transferred to a Roth IRA. Tax-free, no penalty, no issue. It'll go automatically there. And then it'll be in a Roth IRA, continue to grow tax-free until whenever you take it out and you pull that money out and you don't have to pay tax on it as long as you're eligible, okay? But then that employer contribution side, that pre-tax side, plus all the earnings from that pre-tax side will go, will be transferred or rolled over to a traditional IRA, okay? And it's at that point when you retire or whatever that you can say, okay, well, I, I need to start supplementing my social security or I need to withdraw some money. Should I withdraw, withdraw it out of my Roth and not pay any tax? Or should I withdraw it out of the pre-tax side, which is my IRA now, your traditional IRA, and pay the tax on it then. You then have the ability to also do a, a Roth conversion from your IRA dollars into your Roth dollars. Once again, it's still taxable, okay? But maybe you're 59 and a half by then and you can withhold taxes without incurring a penalty. So the big idea with this, I, it, I think it's an innocent question, but it is a simple answer that if you're contributing to a Roth 401k, if you have a Roth 401k, the matching contributions, are those Roth or are those pre-tax? That money's never been taxed before. So therefore it's pre-tax money. Those match dollars are pre-tax money. What you do with it's up to you. And that's a, that's a tax planning decision. Same with whether you should contribute to the Roth side of your 401k or pre-tax. That's a tax planning decision. And this is one of the kind of essential, quintessential, reasons and illustrations why we believe the best way to make wise financial decisions is within the context of all six areas of your financial life. Your cash flow and present financial position, your protection planning, your tax planning, right? Investment planning, retirement planning, and then estate planning. Deciding whether to contribute pre-tax or Roth, and then any company match dollars that are pre-tax, whether you convert them now or convert them later or just leave them pre-tax, those are all tax planning decisions, but they impact your tax, or your cash flow, excuse me, obviously impact your taxes, they impact how you invest the dollars, impacts your retirement, it impacts your estate plan because if you don't use these dollars, they're gonna pass on to the next generation, and in a way that also influences your protection 
action plan, how much, how much risk you're exposed to. So this one decision and kind of fringe additional decisions impacts all six areas of your financial life. So work with your certified financial planner. Simple question, maybe simple answer, maybe an automatic thing that you've just been doing work with your CFP, make sure you're taking the right approach. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team, find us online, corhorn.com, that's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com, you can find us there as well, or just give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.